You know, snap jigging is probably my favorite way to fish these walleyes out here on otter tail. And a couple of the keys are, I like to use a four inch minnow paired with a quarter ounce jig. Now the two things that we're looking for is if we're on big sand flats, you've got to cover some water. We're moving the boat about a mile an hour, make a long cast, as soon as that hits the water, I click the bail and simply snap it. I'm just going to snap this along. I want to be able to follow my rod back to that bait because now walleye comes up from behind and hits it, I got to be able to feel it. But I want that jig darting up and away from that fish and then falling back in the face of the fish. Now if we come across a specific point or a cup where there's some nice weeds on it, I'm actually going to anchor the boat, reel up, and again we're going to make a super long cast. And instead of being a horizontal rip jig, I'm going to go vertical. And I want to pop the bait, again I'm going to follow it down, pop it, Follow it down, because when that walleye sees that bait pop up and fall, he's gonna pounce on it. Yeah, so Corey talked about snap jigging. Now there is another way that you can jig out here that we have been catching fish. And basically it's using a three and a half inch ripple shad, and then again, a quarter ounce jig. And again, we're only really doing this when we're doing the casting, you know, anchoring on the small spot. But what I like to do with that is instead of basically ripping it so much, I'm actually gonna let that ripple shad work. And what I mean by that is I'm still gonna stroke up pretty aggressively, so if there is some weeds, it'll rip out of the weeds or pop off the bottom. But then what I'm gonna do is simply hold that bait and let that ripple shad swim down to the bottom. And a lot of times just that swimming and rippling going down is what's gonna trigger the bites. Now, if we do mark fish out a little bit deeper, out off the sand breaks, that's when we're gonna pull out the shiver minnow. The action that we've been using for that would be just to simply cast it out, let it go down to the bottom. Of course, it's going to take a little time because here you're out in maybe 18, 20 feet of water. You're going to let it go down to the bottom and then it seemed just like a real simple stroke and glide was the best thing. So pop it off the bottom, let it glide, hit the bottom. Pop it off the bottom, let it glide. And what I mean by let it glide is pop and give it a little slack when you do that. So between jig trolling along the long breaks and snap jigging or anchoring up and either snap jigging or using that ripple shad or dropping out deep and using that shiver minnow, that's how you can catch a bunch of these fish relating to these big sand flats.